Hey there folks, I'm Mark from Sawfly Concepts. Yes, I am that face behind that voice. Weird face, huh? I'm aware I'm not good looking and I'm aware my hair is probably a mess. It does that. But anyway, yeah, hi. Um, today you are watching the very first news blog, um, news update blog, um, cat thing. Yeah. It's the very first one, and as you can tell, I'm a little bit not nervous. I'm actually kind of excited about this. <laughs> anyway, first on the agenda, Christmas! Is it? Oh dear. Oh dear. It came quickly, didn't it? Christmas. Oh, it's the 19th of December. Oh, Christmas. Can you tell my pockets are empty? <laughs> so yeah, Christmas. What have we done for Christmas? Well. What we've done is we've released Penzance version 4. Version 4, it's been, it's been in the pipeline for about half a year now, and we finally pushed it out to Absim. It got released on Absim on, I believe it was the 16th of December it was released. And uh, that is our Christmas present to the Flight Sim community, FSX users only, I'm sorry. But yeah, Penzance version 4 for FSX. It's been an FSX product since it started, really, so... Yeah. So what can you expect from version 4? Well, version 4 has completely custom-built 3D buildings. Um, it has it, it has custom ground markings for your parking areas and things like that. Uh, gate signs. Gate signs. Uh, good, good gate signs. Reflective windows on, on the main terminal buildings and things like that. Um, so yeah, it's pretty decent, actually. It's a, it, it's a big step up from what we had before on version 2 and 3 and 3.2. So yeah, if you're interested in that, the link um, is in the description. Go ahead, grab that from Absin, download it. It's a pretty decent product, actually. It's, uh, I like it. I've got it on my computer. I've got it on my flight sim. I've got it on both my computers, actually. It's uh, not half bad at all. So yeah, um, moving on to the next topic of this news. We have the dissolution of Sawfly Concepts. We are now moving from payware back into freeware, um, hopefully Somewhere down the line, we won't make that decision and go, let's, let, let's do payware again, because we're not going to. We're not going to. Yeah. Cry a little bit. Okay, crying over. Anyway, yeah, um, software concept is going back, back to payware. Payware? Damn it! Freeware! <laughs> it's going back, back to freeware. Um, You can expect a lot more freeware coming from us. We've got uh, several products on their way out. Um, one of them is ready to go, but that's the next topic, and, and I will get onto that in a few minutes' time. Um, so, yeah, you can expect freeware from us for the uh, foreseeable future until one day uh, I get a 9 to 5 job, and then I go, oh, 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 I just don't have time to do anything. But, um, yeah, I, I can guarantee freeware will be coming out under Sawfly's name for the indefinite future. So, so we've got a few products coming out for you. Uh, moving on to the next topic now, we have Durham Tees Valley XHD. XHD, what is that? That's for uh, Flight Sim X High Definition. It's none of that. So, yeah, Durham Tees Valley XHD, what can you expect from that? Well, you can expect from all of these screenshots. Oh god, I can't see. All of these screenshots and that one. Um. <laughs> You can expect for all of these screenshots that it's going to be pretty decent. Um, frame rates, frame rates. Now, frame rates, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get onto that one in a second. But first, as you can see, it's a pretty decent product. It's uh, built quite, quite without discretion. Um, I've looked at everything to do with Durham Tees Valley, and I've just went, right, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. It just, I just put it all in. <clears throat> um, the scenery is set up in several different layers. It's set up for, you know, normal, um, high and higher, um, normal, dense, and extremely dense. It's, it's, it's set up for those three features. If you go down to, um, sparse, if you put the scenery complexity down below normal, nothing will show up. You won't even get the ground markings. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Um, there's two versions of it, actually. Two versions are in one. Uh, you got the first version, which is the full HD setup, and it's it's everything that you see in the screenshots. That's that's version one, and you've got the other version there, which is just a general version of it, which is pretty much the main ground image without detail on the top. The main ground image, 
with no lines. There might, might, there might be lines. I think I packed you on that one. I'm pretty sure I put lines in. Maybe not. Anyway, it's the main ground image and the buildings. Nothing else. That's all that is. So, um, yeah, if you if you don't have a high-end computer which can run FSX at max graphics and, you know, you still get 2,000 frames a second, um, then I would definitely imagine that the dulled down version is the one for you. So, yeah, we've got both versions in there. Um, it comes with both installers. You've got the main and the dulled down version for those people who are running on less powerful computers. And quite frankly, it's been so long in the making, I'm actually getting sick of looking at the airport. It, it is our local airport, so I can't help but look at it, because every time I go past it on the train, I'm always like glued to the window going, ah. <laughs> Forget I said that, I didn't say that, I'm not that sad. No, um, over the past few months, um, me and Daniel Gibson, uh, one of the partners here at Soulfly, we have grabbed first name bases with the staff at Durham Seas Valley, and um, it's, it's a really lovely little local place. It's so friendly. So, um, yeah, that's Durham Seas Valley XHD coming out. Uh, you might have seen it listed as Teesside. It's the same thing. It really is the same thing. Don't you worry about that. Okay. Now, that's all the topics out of the way. So we can move on to the questions and answers. Now, before I get on to the Q&A, um, can I just say, Josh, 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 Josh Menzel. He's an admin on Soulfly Concepts on our Facebook page. He's an admin. And um, every time we put up a status, or every time I put up a status, which he likes the sound of, or he likes, he'll like it in his newsfeed. And of course, on Facebook, you've got to change um, who you're liking as if you're an admin on a page. And what he does is he likes, and he likes it as Soulfly Concepts. So when I scroll through Soulfly Concepts' Facebook page, I see the like button is illuminated. So I have to go down and unlike everything that you've liked. Now, I've told you off about this a few times, so I'm now going to do it publicly. Stop it. Stop it. Moving on. Um, yeah, Q&A. Okay, so we've got a fair few questions here. Uh, we've got uh, four from CP Crew and one from Josh. This is why Josh is uh, a nice joke set up in here. First of all, I'm going to go through CP Crews. Now, he's got four questions, maybe, maybe five, I didn't count. <laughs> Let's have a look. Five. He's got five. Yeah, I've got a script in front of me, by the way. <laughs> a script. I need a script. I didn't write it. So yeah, we've got a script. Um, so yeah, well, might as well just go straight on to this. Uh, CP Crew. Yeah, his first question is, what made you start the company? What made me start the company? Well, I just wanted to make freeway scenery. I, I wanted to make um, scenery. I wanted to throw it out there, give it back to the community, and say, here you go, try this, try this, this, this is fun. And at first, I was making airports which look nothing like air airports at all. They, they look more like random things you would see stored in the desert after some dude in his 4x4 has been running around it. They, they look stupid. So they weren't really airports. But the first real airport we ever released was um, uh, Ten Mystery, actually. And that got a nice amount of downloads quite quickly. I was actually really surprised. Um, version 2 of Ten's Estuary got a lot more downloads than version 1, I must admit. So, yeah, that's what made me start the company. I, I just wanted to give back to the community, in a sense. I just wanted to say, here you go. You've, um, you've given me a world of fun, so I'm going to try and give you something fun. And just, yeah, that, that's, that's why I started the company. Um, we didn't register as a business until earlier this year, so earlier in 2014 we didn't register as a business. So the company has been um, sort of a non-profit organisation, and not a real non-profit organisation. It's, it's been sort of a, uh, a non-money-making business for about two and a half years. And uh, I know, it gave me great, great pride, really good pride. And that's why I started the company. Um, next one in here is, uh, what made you interested in flight sims? <laughs> well, I'm an aviation nerd, or a, as my friend calls me, an ab nerd, ab geek, abby geek, whatever you want to say. I'm, 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 I'm not. I am an aviation nerd, and in being an aviation nerd, I've always been really interested in flying anything, really. Although helicopters, they don't get on with me. They don't like me very much. So, fixed wing only. But yeah, I'm an, I'm, a, I'm a bit of an ab nerd. 
and that's what made me interested in flight sim really um, the opportunity to fly at the comfort of my desk that was funny that was fun that was great that's what got me interested in the flight sim I've always loved aviation spotted a flight sim and I went I'm having that <laughs> uh, we've got another question here from CP crew it says uh, why the name soft fly concepts why the name I don't know it was the first thing that popped into my head when I had to give a name for the author on Absinthe, the up upload of Thames Estuary. Now, if you look carefully uh, down our Absinthe pages, uh, we've got several down there. So if we just go onto Absinthe Library and type in Sawfly, you will notice that it won't come up exactly by date, but it'll come up with what we've done. And um, if you look at the oldest on there, I think it's Thames Estuary version 1, version 1. Uh, you'll notice that the name of the author on that is just Sawfly. That's because we didn't have any clue, or should I say I didn't have any clue at that point that we'd be going any further with that. So, yeah, I then came up with the name Sawfly Concepts after we released Thames Estuary, because I thought to myself, well, it's not really a real airport, is it? It's, it's a concept. So I thought, well, Sawfly Concept. I thought, I thought the name was Sawfly really, really quickly. I was like, okay, fly, saw, soaring, fly, saw, sawfly. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why the name Sawfly Concepts. It um, just popped out there and made me smile. Moving on to the uh, next question, we've got, uh, what would you suggest to people coming into Flight Sim? Simply, what would I suggest? I suggest have fun, enjoy yourself. It's a wonderful community to be in. And um, if you're looking for ultra-realism, Definitely FSX, that sim. Just go for it. <laughs> just just go for it. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. That's all you gotta do. And then you're gonna be a valid member of the community. You know, a, a valuable member of the community. Enjoy yourself, have fun. That's all I suggest. That's the best you can do. <laughs> uh, next one here is what else do you have planned? Well. That's a bit of a rude question, isn't it? What else do we have planned? I can't tell you. <laughs> no, I, I, I can let you into a couple of things. What else do we have planned? Well, um, over the next few months, like the next five or six months, about half a year, um, we have several airports in, in planning uh, for release of scenery. Um, the one after, 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 the one after um, Durham T Valley XHD will be Robin Hood XHD. Shortly followed by, um, what's it called? Kuching, uh, Kuching XHD. Now, I've been saying for quite some time that we're going to make Kuching a full HD product, and we never have, because we moved on. Um, but recently, I've decided to start building it. I've started putting in the 3D buildings and things like that. I've been staying up late on GMAX and working my little socks off. And uh, so, yeah, that's, that's what's planned couple of airports coming out for you. Now we move on to Josh. <laughs> when I posted the status up on Facebook saying we're doing a QA, and a um, I think if you have a look right here, you can see the status here. Now, in the status, I say, if you need the link to it, or if you need, if you don't have the Soulfly Concepts channel in, in, in YouTube, just go on YouTube and type in Soulfly Concepts Scenery, and it'll come up. Now Josh then commented this, so to answer your question, no, there is no link to the channel, and the reason why is because I do not know our own channel link. How professional am I? Yeah. Okay, we've got one more question here from a good friend of mine, Vladimir Harrison, and uh, he asked me quite some time ago, actually. He said to me, why are there so many SketchUp tutorials on your channel? I thought you were a scenery company. And then... Um, Truth is, we are a scenery company. But just to tell you what he means, you might have seen a lot of this recently. And a lot of this. And this. And maybe one or two of these. So, um, <laughs> yeah, the reason behind that is because, like I said, I, I, I use GMAX, 3DS Max, and SketchUp to make my stuff. And SketchUp, to be honest with you, is probably the easiest tool I've ever used in my life. I, I love it. Without it, I would be spending a lot more time on scenery, to be honest with you. 
Yeah, well, uh, SketchUp tutorials, they're gonna be a commonplace thing with us. Um, I just basically... That was the chair, I promise. No, it was. Yeah. Um, <laughs> SketchUp tutorials are gonna be a commonplace thing with us. Um, you can expect so many more of them. Like, right now, I'm working on a couple of Build With Me projects, and that's gonna be quite fun. So, yeah, I just really want to give back to the community of SketchUp. SketchUp has been a great help to me, and I just want people out there who are learning to use it to know everything they possibly can about it, because it's, it's a wonderful piece of tech. <laughs> it really is. It really is great. So, yeah, well, that draws us to an end of this news blog. Um, I am I'm Mark from, from, from Sort By Concepts. The Freeware Company! I'm running out of things to say, there's no more script. Bye.